That's why a lot of us turn our people in high water from the bottom because uh, what the white man put it, you know what I'm saying? He done put white man Jesus in our churches and then these pastors, they, they run along with it because they get money for it. But uh, how you see uh, a lot of Israelites growing right now is because we start to understand what the Bible is actually saying. Because all that stuff that they push in the church, all that shit is a lie. That's why we go on the streets. Because guess what? We can stand right outside their church and they can't do nothing because they don't know what the word is saying. You know what I'm saying? All they know is God so loved. All they know is what they you know what I'm what everybody knows. So when we teach them, we teach the history of the Bible. And that's what a lot of people don't get. They don't understand that the Bible is actually a history book that leads up to what is going on today. So just like they say, you got to know your past before you understand the past. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's really what we be teaching. We be teaching the history of the Bible because, like you said, a lot of people say that, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust them because they say this and they say that. Well, you got to know the history to understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So we teach to our people in the Bible. Let me read a couple scriptures. You get this around the 28th. I'm going to show you, you know what I'm saying, why we so uh, perfect what we believe in. Read what you got. Verse 15. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says if a group of people didn't keep the commandments, it was going to be curses that was going to come upon them, right? So when we read that, we got to say, you know what I'm saying? We go into this Christian church, they tell us God lost, he's done away with. They say we ain't got to keep no commandments. But when you read the Bible, he said, if you don't keep the commandments, it's gonna be curses put upon you. So now when we look at now when we look at it, you know what I'm saying, black community got all the damn churches in it. And all the churches in the black community say don't keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? We are under grace. God is love. All we gotta do is believe in Jesus and we say. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say about, right? So God just said, if we don't keep the commandments, curses are going to come upon us. We're going to see these curses and who these curses come upon because that's going to figure out, do we need to be keeping these commandments or can we continue in the way that we live and say that Jesus saved us and he's the grace of everything that we need to get, uh, to get to God. Read verse 16. That is verse 16. Curse shalt thou be in the city. So he said, it's a group of people who are not keeping the commandments and they're going to be cursed in any city that they go to. You know what I'm saying? So when you go all over the world and you find the worst neighborhood, who be, who be in them neighborhoods? It'd be black people, it'd be obvious. You know what I'm saying? Read uh, verse 32. Verse 32. To thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So if you don't keep these commandments, I'm going to let another nation of people take your sons and your daughters. What does that sound like? You sound like slavery. You know what I'm saying? This is real life information. And this still happens in today. If they say you ain't take care of your kids to their standard, they gonna come in your house and take their kids. You know what I'm saying? And I uh I seen a little article where a lady didn't want to take a uh, B12 shot for her kid. Well, she, she was going to take it, but she said, I want my husband to come up here so he can see what's going on first. And they took her kids from her just for refusing anything that they, that they deemed was right for her. You know what I'm saying? So he said, our sons and our daughters don't be giving them to another people. Give me uh, verse 48. Verse 48. It says, therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So he said, after you not keep these commandments, you're going to have to serve your enemies. Your enemies is going to be another nation of people. You know what I'm saying? Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh-huh. In hunger. So if you want some food, where you got to go? Where go? Yeah, where you get food from? Who all them grocery stores? Former it's usually white folks, you know what I'm saying? So when Chinese people come over here and they need some food, where they get their food from? 
No, they get their stuff imported from China. That's why they got Chinese stores with only Chinese food in it. You know what I'm saying? When the Africans come over here, they still getting their stuff uh, transported. When the Arabs come over here, they still get their stuff transported. They got businesses with only their people in it. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't eat with me. They don't eat the same stuff with me. That's why they say the FDA doesn't, uh, doesn't regulate the things that the Chinese import over here. FDA only regulates things that come out of America. It don't regulate things that come off a boat from another country. So when they be saying they be feeding us rats, that's because none of the stuff that they have imported and throwing into our communities is not FDA approved. So they can throw anything in that food and say that it's something else. Ricky Reed. And in thirst. And in thirst. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay a water bill. You gotta run they can take it with you brought in that baby on the two-star collecting that water, they gonna come and tax you for this. You know what I'm saying? We have to go to our enemies for hunger and thirst, read, and in nakedness. And nakedness. For 400 years. Name a black man with a, uh, with a clothing, with a, yeah, a textile company. He makes his own cotton. You don't know him. He said, we got to serve our enemies for these things, green. And in one of all things. And in the one of all things. So just like you said earlier, you said, man, you know, I really just don't trust what they said about this. You got to go to our enemies for our education. We got to go to our enemies for our religion. We got to go to our enemies for a driver's license, for a birth certificate, for a death certificate. From the time that you was born to the time that you die, you got to go to another nation of people for everything that you want. This is a curse that God said he's going to put upon the children of Israel for not keeping their commandments. And that's why we be on churches so heavy because the laws are done away with. You ain't got to do nothing. We say it in Jesus. If it ain't no accountability, how anything going to get done? Says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. So he says, so not only are you going to go unto them for all things, he said he's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck until he destroys you. When do we have yoke of iron on when do we have yoke? When did we have yoke? When did we have yoke? Like change. Oh, in slavery, yeah. In slavery, he said he was going to keep those chains on your neck until he destroyed you. So guess what? Was we? Oh, it's like a dog. You know what I'm saying? You got a dog, a new dog. You know what I'm saying? He's running all over the place. You got to put him on his chain. You got to train him to stay right there with you. You got to train him. That anytime he run away, you gonna have to come back to me to get your next deal. He just gonna have to walk up. He said once they took the chains off of us, we ain't going nowhere. Family.